Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your captain, Megan Lynch speaking. Tonight, we welcome you aboard our brand new 727, flying direct from New York to Quebec City, Canada. We'll be departing momentarily, so please be seated and buckle up. I played one on TV. <laughs> Tonight, I'm your host, and this is Tiffany Clifton, a good friend and my new co-host. Tiffany, say hello. Hi, everyone. Great to see you. Oh, my gosh. So great to see you. Tiffany is a dear friend, and we finally get the chance to work together. It's a pleasure, Tiff. What's happening? Uh, not much. Hi, everybody. I'm Tiffany Clifton. It's a pleasure to be here with Megan, and I'm so happy to be her co-host for this uh, incredible journey. I would like to wish everyone a happy new year. We know it's three weeks later. And thank Stop. you guys for joining us for another season of WHNY TV. Together, Tiffany and I have a great show for you tonight. So to all of you tuning in, today, WHNY TV is the abbreviation for What's Happening New York. Our show airs every week on local New York City cable television. And this is our fifth year. Wow. I, I can't believe it. Our show is a guide for cities. We showcase places, events, and activities around the world. So if you live outside the New York area, we can also be streamed live anywhere in the world, as long as you have internet access, which I mean, most of us most do. Of you. <laughs> We've got lots of activity going on here today. Our Society of Unique Artists mascot, Alan D. Alien, is doing some B-roll for his new promo. <laughs> we're really, we're really big fans of He's him. He's a great dancer. That alien is a character. Maybe we'll meet him later. Hopefully. But right now, it's time to start the show. Tiffany, are you ready, girl? So ready. I can't wait. Let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Our first stop is Quebec City, Canada. Since we'd like to highlight the most festive times of the year, the Quebec Winter Carnival was recommended. With the rise of another morning sun, the Fairmont Le Chateau Frontenac Hotel stands boldly inside the walls of old Quebec. The breathtaking views from this five-star hotel include the swift-moving St. Lawrence River. Since Quebec was originally a French colony, the national language is French. The population is in the neighborhood of 8 million. Winters are usually cold and snowy, but the residents appear content and seem happy to easily adapt to the frigid conditions by going about life as usual. One example may be the way that they celebrate the yearly winter carnival. This year it runs from February 8th to the 17th. The event features parades, outdoor concerts, games, snow, sculptures, and lots of exciting activities. Check out this clip. is amazing. Yes, indeed, tons of fun. There's so much going on. I feel like you could just fill the day with a million different things. Yeah, absolutely. You would never get bored. I mean, I mean, how do they celebrate in such low temperatures? It looks <laughs> whew, too cold. I mean, one of the crew members said that I think it was so cold that their camera stopped working. You're kidding. What? I mean, I don't know. That's a little crazy. Well, I had our field reporter, Lindsay Arbor, in the studio a few years ago. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys have a clip of that? Let's roll it. It was bigger than I expected. It's one of the biggest carnivals in the world. It was so much fun, so many activities there. Everything from a 400 foot snow slide, a Ferris wheel. We went on a, a horse-drawn carriage ride with the, the blanket and everything. Oh, I love that. Some gorgeous firework displays. And they had an ice uh, castle, the ice palace where Bonhomme, who you mentioned, yes. lives. 
which is really fun to explore. It Can you tell everything. us about who Bonhomme is? For yeah. Those people don't know. Bonhomme is the ambassador of the carnival, and he is this very jolly looking man, white with uh, a, a red sash. He's like a giant snowman. He's a giant right? snowman for you. Oh. He's really funny and, and really enthusiastic and uh, just sort of seems like someone you'd want to hang out with. Make, made all these jokes. So he's like a bro cool. man? A totally. bro snowman. Yeah, totally. Bro man. I bro love man. it. You just coined the term right here. All right. Now, what do you think? Lindsay is from Florida, so it couldn't be that bad, right? Do you think she's exaggerating a little I, bit? I, I think just a tad. You know, you got to do that for cameras. I mean, I think she was kind of bluffing, and I, I heard it was just <laughs> to amp up really the drama? cold. I think so, because it was cold. like fur. Look at me. Freezing. freezing. Are you a bundler? Uh, I'm a big bundler. You are. I'm also a sloucher and like a uh, like in, a, in uh, the coat? In the and coat. A, uh, in the hat. Is that part of the... That's the like, noise. yeah, the it's cold like noise. Uh, 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 <laughs> and it might know. Uh, uh, oh, thing. yes, I know. You get like a little, like <laughs> almost like a little snowman, like bottom. Yeah. Just like, yep. ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah. Well, you're not. <laughs> I mean, you know, listen, I'm, I'm really not. I don't know. She's Whatever. Creepy. All right, well, let's move on. When we get back, Tiffany will do her very first introduction on WHNY TV. We'll see you in 60 seconds. Oh my God, are you excited? Ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Welcome back. So, extremely southeast of our Manhattan studios lies Pier 17. We know it as South Street Seaport. Yes, we do. This is a popular waterside hangout for New Yorkers and tourists. It's incredibly active all year round because of the ferry network yeah. and all the business in the area. There are magnificent views of the three bridges that connect Brooklyn and Manhattan. There are restaurants and a, a heliport, Ooh. almost like a helicopter, yeah. kind of, <laughs> and all kinds of attractions. It was a popular location for years. However, in 2012, there was a devastating hurricane that occurred named Hurricane Sandy. We mm. all remember her. Since yeah. then, it has been rebuilt and is gaining traction again as a hotspot. And speaking yeah. of hotspots, huh? this is one of the most popular hangouts in the summer. Watch this. Absolutely. While at this angle it looks like I'm laying on a lawn in a park, looks can be deceiving. I'm actually enjoying some sun on an incredible piece of real estate in New York's South Street Seaport District. This ingenious structure is an elevated platform with breathtaking views of Manhattan and Brooklyn. Not far from here lies a trendy neighborhood called Dumbo, which just so happens to be WHNY TV's focus for today's episode. I mean, that is a unique place mm -hmm. to get a tan. These people are probably going out there on their lunch break, yeah. getting a little color. Going out to the fancy restaurants in a bikini, slip it under your suit, or your little, like, you know, outfit. That's a female, yep. I don't know, whatever. A little. And then just go. A little and golden glow. Yeah. I like it. Glow. Warm up. Glow. 
Uh, I like that. Is that a phrase? All right. That's really good. I like that a lot. Now, I remember when the area was super damaged by um, the storm. Mm -hmm. Do you you remember where you were? Well, I I was living in Brooklyn at the time, and it was kind of slowly gaining, I guess, wind and speed, but I was sitting outside on my porch, like, you know, the crazy girl that I am, and then a tree fell right in front of me and jumped up, and I was like, well, I guess it's happening. Wait, wait, wait. You have to backtrack. <laughs> I cannot believe that you were actually sitting outside during Hurricane Sandy. I know. My mom was, I was like, what are you mom. doing? Yeah. Like, I just was like, whatever. It's not really happening. You know, the news. And the, the news, the weather, like, you know, reports. <laughs> the reports. So a tree right by you. Right in front, and then just boom. And then power um, line was like, the phones weren't really working at that point. Oh. But everything else was fine. Did you freak out with the tree? I, f- I freaked out a tad, but I'm broken strong, so what about you? Um, I was in my first apartment on 58th Street and I had a ton of people staying with me. We didn't have, um, we didn't lose power, which was great, but we had like a husband and wife, a baby, a dog, a single guy, my roommate, some nice snacks. Cozy. It was cozy. Yeah, we had wine. wine. Yes, of course. I mean. Girl, hello. Hello. Have we met? <laughs> I, I mean, you know. Have we met? Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed, we have. Well. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on. Next, we head south. So I heard that this trip was so much fun. People have been really saying good things. Mm, okay, mm-hmm. from whom, I wonder? Um, from a few little birdies. Yeah. Treat, treat. <laughs> treat, treat. Yes, yeah, well, from our producers. And apparently our crew went down to cover the art fairs in Miami and somehow ended up doing much, much more. Hmm, how nice. We should be hosting in Florida, don't you think? Yes, I, once again, we need this. All right, keep talking. I'm dreaming. I'm feeling the bathing suit, the warmth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. woman. How can I get her job? I mean, well, you have to be lucky, I guess. <laughs> I'm pretty lucky, I think. Are you? 724. I was born at the time of 724. I'm a lucky woman. Wait, I didn't know that. Oh, yes. That's luck right there. That is luck. I'll play those numbers later so we can get there. I love it. Yes, lotto, <laughs> baby. Now, all jokes aside, we really appreciate the Margaritaville Hollywood Beach Resort for their support and amazing hospitality. Thank you guys so much. You know they're actually opening up a location here in New York in Times Square. No. Yes, I would love to feature the New York Hotel on the show. Maybe we cover it. And then we can go and try that Flow Rider. Yes. Because that Flow Rider looks kind of Kind of. But wait, do you feel like they'll have it in the city? 
Why not? Times Square is humongous. It's true. And right? I feel like that could be a really fun little sleepover. Yeah, a little so. parte. A little, little with some Pinot Noir. Do we just keep talking about wine? Is I know, it, are we, are we thirsty? Here, I don't know. Okay. Um, another exciting activity that Paula and the crew enjoyed was a Miami water tour provided by Captain Anthony Donito on his 60 foot yacht called the Master Plan. Yeah. 17 Avenue Bridge, 17 Avenue Bridge, this is Master Plan, outbound vessel requesting an opening. This is Bayside, which is one of Miami's most famous shopping centers, I would say. It's a really cool little plaza which you can go shopping, you can go eating, you can listen to live music. It's so pretty. It's right on the water. And you can arrive on your yacht, which is always a plus. Hey guys, we're here in Miami with the amazing Captain Anthony who has us on his luxurious 60-foot yacht which we absolutely love I want to hear more about it okay so we're here on the master plan she's the 60-foot Hatteras and Miami Cruise Yacht Charters uh, allows people to come aboard and get out on the water whether it's a day on the island or out jet skiing celebrating birthday parties anniversaries and especially bachelorette parties <laughs> um, we get mostly tourists that come from out of town and have probably never seen things like this and places like this and so we give them the opportunity to do that. in New York? I can't tell you, but right here in Miami, right here in Miami Cruise Yacht Charters, we can tell you what's happening. Check us out, MiamiCruiseYachtCharters.com. All right, that looks so awesome. Well, I mean, did we just see her fall? She did fall, and that's the part that <laughs> freaks me out. Now, it looks amazing, but I would be a little afraid. It, well, I mean, it looked kind of fun because I swear she was Smiling she was smiling. She was going, woo, woo, woo. And, like, yeah. and then pff, she flung off. And also you get rescued by two handsome dudes. I mean, come on. I mean, that's not, that's not, come that's on, never a negative. A little that. hottie rescue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think she was scared? Um, I don't think so. She looked fearless. That woman was just like, what? Going for it. And then on top of that, she was in a hot tub afterwards. Like, that's, 
it's a perfect little conclusion to kind of a choppy experience, mm -hmm. little adventure. Yep. Now, that's seriously amazing, and we might have to make the next trip. Yeah. I All really right. Where so. do you think we should go for our next location? Mm, Vegas, maybe. Oh, I like that. You're a gambler? Girl, yes. Oh, all right. Then yes. let's... Uh Cha-ching. <laughs> All right, great possibility. We'll see. So moving right along, we're still in Miami. And when we come back, we'll take a peek at Miami Arts Week. Be right back. Welcome to Society of Unique Artists Nationwide Piano Donation Program, the original and best piano donation program in the USA. Since 2004, Society of Unique Artists have been the leader in helping people find new homes for their unwanted pianos. We accept donations of all types of classical acoustic pianos from the public in all 50 states. We pride ourselves on delivering the best quality service to our donors. We are a reliable and expedient source to rid yourself of your unwanted piano. We provide a seamless experience by making all of the necessary arrangements to have your piano conveniently picked up at no expense to you. Since we are a duly registered 501c3 nonprofit organization, we will provide documentation of your piano donation for your tax records. Your piano donation is instrumental in helping to support our nonprofit mission of highlighting and promoting unique artists and art forms. Some of the ways that we further this mission is through our various television programs and community events. We look forward to hearing from you and thank you for your support. For my friends, um, you know, bachelorette party oh, is fantastic. Yeah, that's right. Hey guys, welcome <laughs> back. So one of the main reasons our producer selected South Florida was the much anticipated and followed Miami Arts Week. This attraction is held every year in Miami around early December, and it pay and it plays host to various important art fairs, including Art Basel and Scope. Here's a peek. Cool. Wow, would you believe that I love art, but never attended the Miami art shows? Gosh, even the Real Housewives of New York attended. Why <laughs> didn't you do it? I know, I'm a failure. Come on, that was a good, was that Luanne Del? Um, a, a little bit. I like it, I like right. it. I mean, Miami is, is so crowded during the Arts Week that you have to pretty much reserve like way in advance to secure yeah. a room. So you have to really plan. And mm -hmm. if you don't know, and you, you can't really do a last minute. But mm -hmm. I definitely hope to make it one day. And okay, oh, we're almost out of time. But we do have one more thing we'd like to highlight before we call it a wrap. And we'll do that right after the break. Be right back. Hi guys, Pop-Up Chef Peach is here. Culinary artist and host for Society of Unique Artists. I specialize in nutritious but delicious cuisines from all over the world for everyone. And guess what? You will be able to see my show on M&N and New York City Social Net. And you'll also be able to Hey guys, welcome back. As promised, we have one more place to highlight. We were scheduled to stop in Montreal on our way back from Quebec. However, due to the weather and some unforeseen circumstances, we did not make it make the stop. But Montreal was kind enough to send us the clip, which was uh, briefly used in the past shows, correct, right? Yep. So, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But here is the feeling of Montreal for you guys. I'd love, love to get a little vibe.
y'all. <laughs> I love it. That looks like a very exciting place to visit. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I've been there a few times, not in a while, but I have been there. So what was it like over there? It's very beautiful. The spring and summer, the seasons are gorgeous. And I remember it being known for their outrageous summer concerts. The restaurants and the food are excellent and the people are super friendly. It's also another French speaking city since it's in the province of Quebec. So brush up on your Francais no, if you plan to visit. No, oh, bien sûr. Oh, Tiffany. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know some other stuff, but I'm not going to say it on TV. Oh. <laughs> oh, ça va. Well, anyway, it's time to wrap it up. It has been great having you here, Tiff. This has been me. so much fun. I could talk to you all day long and we're just just a blast and I look forward to doing this again with you on another episode how do you said it I can't wait to hang out with you again here yes it was such a pleasure the pleasure was all mine or is that uh, yeah. or, or, me. or me you you hmm. well we would <laughs> like to thank all of you our wonderful sponsors for this episode the Margaritaville Hollywood Beach Resort Quebec City Tourism Tourism Tourisme Montreal Captain Anthony Donito Venture Water Sports and Whitmore Merrick and to all of you my friends in the audience we thank you for joining Joining us and look forward to seeing you on the next episode. WHNY TV is always seeking new and exciting places to highlight on the show. So if you have any ideas or feedback for the show, we encourage you to write us at WHNY underscore TV at suartists.org. We would love to hear from you. Now, from New York City and on behalf <laughs> of our producer, Society of Unique Artists, I'm Megan Lynch. And I'm Tiffany Clifton. Thanks so much, guys. Much love. Until next time, good night. Good night. Peace. Peace out. to the wonderful world of Society of Unique Artists, a New York City-based, duly registered 501c3 nonprofit art organization. Founded in 2004, our organization's mission is to find and promote unique and extreme artists and art forms. We strive to bring recognition to unidentified artists through various means. One way is through our cable television program, Extreme Art Television, also known as EAT which showcases all types of extraordinary artists and unusual art forms. Throughout the years, extreme art television has gained worldwide recognition as a legitimate art media. In addition to the various artists we have highlighted on the show, we have also had the opportunity to visit and showcase many respected museums, art institutions, and art events on the East Coast. Places such as New York's Whitney and Guggenheim Museums, The Armory Show, Sotheby's S2 Gallery, the New York Botanical Gardens, the Virginia Museum of Natural History, international sand sculpting competitions in Atlantic City and New Hampshire, and even the international snow sculpting competition in Quebec, Canada, have all been featured on EAT. We promise to continue to bring you more cutting-edge art and exciting art-related news, so please tune in regularly to EAT on MNN and BronxNet, and make sure to follow Society of Unique Artists on all of our social media outlets. Thank you for your support.